What's up? Yo, what up everybody? Welcome to part four of how to grow Mendo dope from seed. We're about to go into flower mode. I want to thank everybody who's been tuning in ever since these first germinated. Uh, we're about to grow some real fire. I know you guys are looking forward to seeing how this comes out. So come take a ride with the planters of the trees. Mendo dope, oldie and bleasy. Part four, how to grow Mendo dope from seed. Let's go, let's grow. Part four of how to grow, we are in bloom. We are 13 feet up high in the air. We're looking down on everything. Backwood. We're even looking down on Daniel because I'm on a 12 foot ladder and he's on a little sixer. Here, take her. Yeah, I'm just down here trying to trying to cope. You can't even look at the plant no more down there. Uh, yes, it is August 17th. Just watered this morning. You can see all these look like they are happy campers. Look at that trellis that we put on. It's going through it. Perfect, perfect timing probably too. Those buds ain't gonna grow too much taller. They'll be secure. Real secure. Real proud of that cage right there. It's perfect. Even the mic stand's leaves are just going crazy. Look how bushy it is now. It's like... Yeah, and this thing doesn't have hairballs and it's not blooming super hard like the rest. It's still stretching hard. It's a goddamn way, way smoky out here. These fires have been brutal. You can't even see the mountains in the background. Basically it's anymore. real bad right now. Give him a look at that Sonic, that booth. How does it look from your angle? Amazing. The booth looks small. Ooh, super duper happy. It's gonna be, it's a real close couple weeks and we're in the deep into the recording. Yep, the buds are forming, so the booth's getting denser, more soundproof. Hell's OG Quirkles tearing up. Jesus OG is doing really good. It boosted out of all its funk that it had at the beginning of the year. All the stuff we did to it, tying it down, really helped. Loco is out of control. Yeah, let's, let's get down there and take a peek. Let's trade. Uh, uh, yeah, almost dropped the bunt. Almost fell off the ladder. So now that we're in flower mode, we're definitely, this one right here, we're leaving more in the middle just because we want more more cushion and more soundproof so we're not really tripping on these little branches. It is what it is. But the locomotion, you can really see it's nice and clean. Everything's been hollowed out for bloom. Nice and gutted. It's been growing back all around. Can't really tell it ever got cleaned up almost from the outside. Yeah. It's always how you want it. Jesus is probably the most bloomest one. Yeah, Jesus is. Crystals are forming. It's hard in flower right now. Can't wait. It's probably like in the second week. It's hard it's to say. It's gonna go by quick. We'll see. Now let's do in that bloom stack. Yep, vanilla's stacking nicely right now. Really thick, really fucking full of buds. It's gonna be tightly packed bud bush. Tight packed bud bush. The cheese quake. Looking. Tonight. Cheese quake. I was looking at earlier and oh my god. From over here it's like whew. super nice. Crazy wide and thick. Very beautiful clone. 400 gallon pots. Here's our tunnel of love. We got Grandfire doing really, really good too. Grandfire. Perfect structure. Grandfire is a perfect, perfect bush. Very I manageable. Guess, I guess now we're getting labeled as the Bushmasters. Very manageable. Bushmaster bros. Planters of the trees. And everything's doing good. We're starting to give them more water now. They're gonna start getting water every other day. We're gonna do a little bit less water every time, but we're gonna do more water total. 
Yep, they want to drink more than they're in flower. It's important that they get plenty of water to stack their buds. They gotta stay moist, they gotta stay happy. Start doing more bloom, switching from the veg. Everything's tied. We're gonna start showing you uh, new methods. All right, so before we leave, I wanted to show you guys these crystals on the sonic screwdriver already. Yeah, you even see crystals on the stems over here. In certain part, oh my God, I'm starting to get smells off these pods. It smells insanely delicious. First smell. So, so early. And already oh. getting frosty leaves, so that's a beautiful sight. Yo, what up, yo, what up? It's time to do some atomizing. So we got it. Uh, it's what's the date today again? August. August 18th. 18th. We are gonna foliar feed uh, one full session which is three full things which everyone suggests you do we're gonna finish everything off so we won't have to spray no more we won't have to do no more buck patrol after this yep so let's do this you ready everything's cleaned up we also want to say another reason why we clean up so good on the bottom is to get the spray and everything through all the leaves to get the light through the leaves to get the spray through them they're gutted <clears throat> they're ready to get a real spray down to all the real leaves. There's nothing blocking it. That's not going to be there at the end. So, let's coat them. Started, seven to go. Leaf sheen, six gallons of leaf sheen is what it took to do these. Almost a gallon of plant has been foliar fed. That's what it takes. We're gonna do this today. Day one. Day two would be two days from now. Day three, five days from now. And we should be clean. Ready to bloom the rest of the way. Let's bloom. It's part four. We're blooming. What's up, everybody? We're back uh, in flower mode, part four. Part um, four. Bloom. Wanted to show you guys some of the nutrients that we put in. Uh, it's August 23rd. August 23rd already, huh? Yep, we're adding in earth juice bloom. Yeah. So we did half of this for this one watering we're about to do right now. So half a gallon of that. We finished off our high bricks. We're about two weeks in bloom. We've used all the high bricks the last three weeks. You throw some of that in there? I threw the rest of this stuff in. This is all we're going to need now. This stuff, you know, first two weeks of bloom is the last time you're going to have to need that. So Just keeping them roots healthy. We're done after that. They can already... Have, have to have their micros already set. And we had crab meal in the red vine. You know, yep, crab <laughs> meal that was in there. So that's all on the top of the dirt. And we just did a half a strength of this ginormous. Which, we like to add just a teeny little tease of that in there. Nothing crazy, just that whole thing will last the whole time. We really like the stuff. We used it last a couple years and it was good. So it helps a lot. So we're gonna go out and uh, do some of the last foliar feeding, the last treatment, and watering. See you guys out there. Boom. Ting. What up guys? We are two weeks into flower. Just want to show you guys a quick update of how these are stacking. The vanilla kush is is a real good 
fucking nugger. It just blasts. You know, the plant ain't the biggest, but it's gonna dump really nice. Super high grade. Uh, Super high grade. The cheese quake, as you see, starting to stack. Not quite as far along as the vanilla, but. Cheese quake's I mean, a nine week strain. Some of these are just gonna be spears, like all the buds are real close together. Really packed. Really beautiful. Uh, the Grand Fire OG. Also stacking real nice. That's an eight week strain. Yep. We know that because we've had it for years. It's coming out the trellis all nice and spread. As you can it's see. It's really secure in there. The trellis is really doing good now. This ain't gonna get phased by any, uh, any raining or anything. Super healthy green. Locomotion, a fucking monster. Um, it's starting to stack for sure. It's definitely gonna be one of the later ones. Ridiculously chunky. Chunky. Super yeah, it's, chunky. it's a 10 week strain probably. But the Jesus, this one is definitely the farthest along. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's already stacking. It's solid. It's three weeks. It's crazy. It's a week strain for sure because it's, it's about beating the vanilla almost. Huge colors. Real huge colors. I don't know if you can see the, the Ganja Booth, the Sonic Screwdriver. I see it nice, yeah. It is doing wonderful, looking awesome. I mean, so much, uh, so packed in here now. It's perfect. Uh, it really did everything real good in here. It's about to start recording the album. Hell's OG Corgal. <sighs> Fucking monster. I mean, shit. That thing has gotten big. You, can, you can't even try it, you know, and it's just so fucking this. Let me get down off the ladder. So, wanted to show you what's up before we water. We got the crab meal in the dirt. Yep, threw some more crab meal in here, so we'll water it in, throw it around. Plants are getting chunky, starting to flower. Real chunky. The mic stand then, though, I mean, shit, this thing, look how much of a bush it is up there now. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just crazy. And it is still reaching. I mean, this one is, you know, just maybe, barely flowering yeah, huh? Yeah, in like the first days, first week of flower. It just but about finished with its transition. The stock got nice. You can People sit under it. How the mic stand's been doing and uh, it's doing great. So all the stuff we've been doing has been working, all the training techniques. We don't expect you guys to follow everything we do. We want you to use your own newts, but we show you what we do. We show you our basic principle to grow a tree. We don't have any real scientific theories going on. We just figured out what works. We do a little extra. We try new things. And this is the product. Our personal garden. Once again, this is personal garden. Yeah, this is just for our smoke. This is just for our... You we know, make food. We share it with people. We go out to cups and we let them try our stuff. But, you know, this is all just personal stuff. Nothing is sold. Stop asking us to spy stuff. Different people. Yep. It's not going to happen. So continue on uh, part four. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this, uh, this season. And uh, these are about to be forming real fast. So there's going to be colas and a lot of THC and resin forming. Man, amazing how fast they start to change. Yo, what up everybody? Mendo Dope here. Want to show you guys foliar feed in with the atomizer.
Hello. So, we're doing our final foliar insecticide spinicide, shall I say. And uh, the only reason we're doing this now is because there's these little things right on the bottoms of the plants. Uh, they're only on the inside, and they're weird to do this slight damage to the leaf. It's like a, a thrip or something. So we're just spraying these bottoms nice and good. Giving a light spray around the rest. This will be the last time. We're just entering two week flower state. So we have plenty of time. There's no real buds, still hairs. So, final precautions. We might get some yellow tape, see if that'll help too. I wanted to also show you this tragic scene. This is one of those things that happens. The branch just got pinched off on the inside. Now this one probably is very good reason. That branch right here broke earlier. It fixed itself, but then now it pinched itself. So that whole branch is dead. There's a couple ounces right there, gone. But it's on the back side. It's just small and whole scheme of things. This is what happens. Every once in a while, a branch will pinch itself off. All right, what's up everybody? We're back in the garden. What up, dopers and nerds? August 28th, and you know, we're in flower time, so we're about to we blossom are. off. Shaking. Got Shaking earth, my earth juice. Earth juice bloom. Those of you who have used this before, this shit is out of control. Like, they got some like clumpy clayish, clay weird bottom, newts. Yeah. So it needs you gotta a, shake the shit out of it. a proper shaking. Shickles. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor. Doctor Who. Shout out to the homie that sent this over. Thanks a lot, brother. Yes, yes. Super dope. So, fishbone meal. We're gonna throw this all over the soil like we we're do. We're still doing a little bit of nitrogen. Starting to transfer over, you know, more and more. Yep. Uh, we're starting to do a lot more, though, of the... The final. Soluble seaweed powder is starting to get used. We're throwing in a little bit of this. Just a little box, just for a little extra love. You know, just help promoting that flowery fruiting, that niceness. It's got stuff we don't have. Just so a quick look. We're sitting here underneath the mic stand. That's just a, a bush at the it's top. Super dope now. Looking real good. It is like out of control. It's I trying think to we get measure it today uh, in between what we're doing. Yep. I'm gonna take you guys on a quick look around what we got going. The Hell's OG Corkle. Starting to nug up real nice. Getting some frostiness up in there. Some frosty pods. And it's a beast. Almost at the top of the next cage. The Ganja Vocal Booth Sonic Screwdriver is nugging up hard right now. Looks like it's gonna have some real <coughs> chunky buds. And it is looking frosty. Sonic screwdriver. Our Jesus OG. Definitely getting some of those choppy looking sections like it's gonna have some huge buds. Jesus, the locomotion, still behind in bloom, but god damn, it's a fucking bush. Huge canopy, just crazy. Take you guys on a higher look. Nice canopy. Hasn't really started to get resonated yet, just the beginning stages, because it is behind. But she's about to be stinking. Our vanilla kush stacking. Chunking on the buds. Check out how frosty these pods are. Mm. Very nice. 
Cheese quake, of course, doing his thing, stacking up. Gonna be some big spears on this. I love the way the nail is starting to smell. And the grand fire, nice bushel. Still lagging, not as far as the Sonic, which is crystalling up nice. This one's about to be. I see blazy has got the measuring tape out. What is it? 13 feet. Perfect 13 right now? Yeah. Mando dope Live in the garden Cause you know it's bigger than just the music It's a cannabis culture and we gotta represent it to the fullest We fighting for the freedom of the patients I'ma let them know My life is like a dream on TV screens playing my part Of a farmer from the hills of Mendocino out the heart Of the Emerald Triangle where we grow some of the biggest trees Smoking fresh frozen hash Made from all these sticky leaves Got so much love for this culture I represent it I've been raided, cuffed, sided, and fined Plus apprehended Never intended to be the one who was on the front line fighting It's meant to be I do it for the people, mountains I'm hiking And the truth what I'm reciting No lies, no phony tricks The government will try to capture your sight With politics Sometimes I wonder why the police hate us What's wrong with this situation that we facing Doing time behind the fence Ain't where I wanna be Gotta be something big, make a change Turn your life into a positive energy, hit the stage Motivate the lost souls in a direction full of freedom They don't know which way to go, so I'm about to lead them Follow me, travel this road that I've been walking Fighting for the freedom, they thinking that I've forgotten I'm stuck in a line of fire, proceed with caution Until we get some justice, I ain't stopping Follow me Travel this road that I've been walking Fighting for the freedom they thinking that I've forgotten I'm stuck in a line of fire Proceed with caution Until we get some justice I ain't stopping They say I'm walking on a tightrope like Nick Willender Will this harass him? What you doing? Just Rock, chilling? Rocking my earth juice The earth juice shake dance You gotta shake it up so we out here uh, in the garden, live in the garden uh, during this recording album. It's part four. Things are flowering hardcore. Looking real good. Some sonic screwdriver. Just getting chunky, chunky, starting to get crystally. Looking good, looking good. I gotta. I'm gonna come around here. Ooh, take a look at this ganja mic stand. Look how dark she got. I mean, it is colorful. September 8th. September 8th. We gave him the rest of uh, the ginormous. I'm gonna do half of this thing of bloom. It's about 14 feet. Last 14 feet. What? Woo! Let's come around here, this back alleyway. See some fire. Some of this uh, Hell's OG Oracle. It's got some thick ones stacking up. I mean, there's buds everywhere. It's pretty nuts. Sonic screwdriver booth, of course, is. Doing wonderful. Jesus. Jesus OG. What's up? We're just gonna kill a whole gallon. Alright, killing a gallon of Earth Juice Bloom. They're hungry. But back 
to the Jesus OG. I mean, this has got some real deal spears. Water's done. Timer's going off. We got our vanilla kush. Looking frosty. And it is stacking. Take a look back here. Locomotion. For people who know Tangy, that's what this one kind of smells like. It's a trip. Looking good though. A lot of buzz on her. We got the front row buds. And we just start going back. We got the East Coast sound and beat in the background. Grand fire. I got the what? Grand fire's doing its thing, stacking up. Grand fire is getting full. The cheese quake, the notorious cheese quake. Smells like delicious cheese and it's stacking. It's gonna have some nice spears. So, part four. You wanna show them a little reverse green tape action? Oh. So this is another step that we do. The whole year we've been tying green tape out, pulling everything away from the plant, pulling it as far as we can, till we get to this point where they start sagging. Look at this thing. It's got buds on it now. And if we pull the green tape off, nice carefully, green tape. sometimes you want to just cut it. So you don't it's not it. doing that no more. It's pulled out as much as it needed to be pulled out. And we get inside. This is when this you gotta such a monster. Gotta get inside the cage. Oh. I'll take this branch. I'll reuse the green tape and I'll tie it back to the cage. And get it like this. Is that where it has to be? Um does that look better? Yeah, I mean, don't go too far. Right about there? Yep. Perfect. Now let me just get this tape off over now. And it might not seem like it's a huge difference, you're not pulling it like super far, but when you pull it there and lock it in, or just straighten then, you're, it out. then it's just gonna be there. Hopefully through the rain it'll stay. And you just keep on supporting them. It's all about getting support ready for these uh, to carry their weight. They gotta be able to hold their Hold their ground. Yeah, they got a lot of holding to do. And this green tape's harder to get it off because it's so fresh. As he does that, take a look at this ganja mic stand. It starts to bush out at the top of every other plant. green tape off, tied to another location. All right, we'll then take this back to the existing first cage, or second cage, I guess. It's a little tight. There we go, is that good? Yep. Because once they start sagging, they don't stop. And they lose weight. The more it sags, the less weight it's going to want to put on. Yep, you think so. I got too much weight on me. I should stop putting so much on. So if you hold them up, they'll stack more weight. They'll be secure for the rains. Oh, fuck. Watch the cage. It's a bitch to get out of this one. All right, so yeah. Chapter whatever. Oh, God, it's starting to smell delicious. Until next time.
It's time to get our water on. Locomotion's a winner. A plus strain, everyone. Good job on the fucking Terps. Holy shit. Heroes of the farm. Terps classics. What's up everybody? What up? You're uh, all entering flower mode right here in part four, how to grow Mendo dope from seed. Part four. Uh, things are getting really smelly, sticky out here. Uh, we, uh, we're just hoping for the best, hoping things go good, we get good weather. Um, just really like we said, supporting these colas up. They're starting to get that weight, so we gotta make sure they all hold up and do what they're supposed to be doing. Yep. Keep paying attention, keep following the steps, and you can grow chunky ass plants get better yields for your limits that they put us in high grade because it's all about personal you got to have your personal grow your own grow it yourself grow it clean organic we don't want no chemicals no pills none of the stuff they want us we want what we want so we're gonna keep it growing part four Mendo dope part four chillin We smoke fire. We smoke fire. We smoke in fire. We on that fire. We on that fire. Huh. Old E. We smoking fire. I'm so danked out, my mic is a cola. So my rhymes get them high like Doja. Cannabis culture. Soldier, living it. Crab meal back, wanna what I'm giving it. Yeah, I could grow a 10 pound plant. Find it at the club with the Mando stand. Smoking boo boo weed, I just can't. Take a hit of that, I got more, it was still early. Bomb weed getting smoked like deer jerky. Third degree burning on fire. Mind getting twisted from the sauna screwdriver. Make him retire. Mendo got dope in this. Smell it when I open this. Crystal fine scope in this. Solar hit, outdoor dope bill. Mendo outlaw. Cuddy's only smoke kill. We don't smoke no blue weed. We smoke fire. Sticky green, that's all I need. And the lighter. When they try to smoke with me, they retire. Cause we don't smoke no blue. We smoke fire. Full melt, hat, shit, man, glass, got it in my stash. We smoke fire. Outdoor skunk, aromatic blunts, take a puff. We smoking fire. Highest grades, what we blaze, got your mind in a day. We on that fire. We don't smoke it if it's brown, we gon' turn that shit down. We smoking fire. Need a pair instead of fuel. Decay of the Skittles. Break down the blunt, lay it down in the middle. I'ma need a pillow. When it got a strip, had to make this shit official. Couple grams, couple dabs. They probably had your man in a damn hospital. Lay your flat on your ass. That's why it's puff, puff, pass, and nobody fucking with you. I never say what I will, I won't do. Get paid, still riding in the old school. Roll through so cool, like I'm supposed to. Fake better kneel when the real come approach you. This is something you can feel in the focus. You can tell I'm getting high through the Pro Tools. You're looking for some kill, who you go to? Little flower, little wax, that's the one too. We don't smoke no blue weed. We smoke fire. Sticky green, that's all I need. And the lighter. When they try to smoke with me, they retire. Cause we don't smoke no blue weed. We smoke fire. Now it's got me feeling faded, elevated on the goo. Rolling weed on the VIP table with my crew Got blunts, joints, dab rigs too It's a weed nerd nation This is what we do, weed country Pitch a drink to the ceiling Ashtrays overfilling and the bong water spilling We bake, laced with the French cannoli Cure weed in my jar, what I pass is stony We don't smoke no blue weed We smoke fire Sticky green, that's all I need And the lighter When they try to smoke with me What'd you say it's about time to do? It's 
about time to take it to the next step, which we will be doing some more molasses and some brown sugar. Brown sugar for these ladies. Along with the bloom schedule that we're staying to and pretty much just water after that because we really only have four more weeks left for the fast ones, you know. So we have to flush for a solid two weeks. So Indeed. Weeks. Time's going quick and it's a pretty funky day. Ending of the day over here. Yeah, Looking yeah. nice on one side and then. We had the 100 degrees for the last three days making the CD and then now today this is what's happening. You ever seen death in the sky before? Look at the line above us too. It does look seem like smoke. There's no way that's a cloud. Well, here we are. How to grow Mendo Dope, part four. As you can see, flowers. There's nugs out here. And they have getting further and further and further. Oh my lord, this thing is almost to the tippy. Got some, got some drinkers over here. So, There's nothing a little green tape won't fix. We wanted to show you guys another how to of uh, the first real rain. It's the first time we actually got, you know, rain. Not no sprinkles. We got some leaners. We got some vocal boost leaners. Yep. So. There's a few here and there. What we wanted to show you on this segment was, we ain't fucking tripping about the rain. The rain isn't gonna fuck shit up right now. We don't have anything super outrageous, all ready to mold. You know, this Jesus is getting really fucking thick. But it ain't that far yet. We got time. So we actually like the rain right now. It's gonna knock all this fucking little specks of ash. It's gonna knock all of our shit back to healthy green, perfect rain. Yes, indeed. Some Hawaii shit. Um, so all we wanted to tell you guys was, here, you wanna take the cam? Yeah. Sure. What do you wanna tell them? Well, basically, I know some people might have been like, oh, you guys are overkilling on the cage. Why do you do that much? Why is there all this? Well, this is when it really matters, and this is when caging and trellis comes in handy the most. As soon as the, the rain hits, like, I mean, just like when you see little branches like this that are flopping over. That if shit you, ain't nothing. It's if you, the Yeah, and if you didn't have a cage, like, this whole plant would be super floppy, like, pretty much everything if they didn't have support <coughs> yeah, they'd be. really start to flop over and fall I guess you can see this you already do this today no I did this the other day I knew these were gonna do that yeah see so I just uh, without this trellis shits like this falling these are nice and strong because it's hooked to the branch in the trellis so even though if your branch ain't even in the trellis just a branch off a branch in the trellis is gonna help stir it up way more sturdy yeah so all this caging really comes in handy at the end and I mean just like this one I mean there's still little branches here and there that we got to tie up you, exactly you never exactly. and that's when the rain shows you what you missed what you didn't tie up so you just go through and uh, and keep them supported and once they are supported pretty much you, you'll be you'll be good yeah. if you get them right they'll they'll sag a little through the rain but um, I mean they'll stay up the branches won't lean so far will they break and that's when you get shitted on. Once and the trellis in the middle, we've learned over time, once the buds get a little further in this and the next rain comes, hell of shit in the middle just falls down and it's like sideways, you can't reach it. It's impossible to get to. So now we have trellises over the top. We ain't trying to play that game. Cheesequake's notorious for it. Cheesequake will fall over on you. And once it falls, it's a fucking bitch to get it back up. And they never really quite grow the same either. If they could stay straight, they will put more weight on. That's why trellising adds weight to your garden because it lets them get fatter than they're supposed to. Holy crap, what's going on at eight in the morning? Oh. They got sun again, I see. Green taping, you know, the top of this booth got hit pretty hard. It rained pretty nice. It rained hella nice, as you can see, we're fucking soaked, pots are soaked, everything's soaked. Stopped training a, last night, but everything's soaked. I got a branch for you to tie over there. I want to show you guys how we fucked up. 
Now we might think we're the badass fucking growers of the world, but look at this hole. As you can see, our plant got too big. The trellises was too low. All the top buds fell sideways. The trellis held everything up. Nothing broke, or one branch broke. Still alive though. But this is what happens. We got all of it on the sides tied back up. Now we just need the middle. See That's dude. why we put that fucking big ass cage. Resurrecting these buds right now, this one. And I got the pole over here, so I gotta throw this to Blaze and he can. So we're putting poles in the can... middle of it and we're tying everything to poles. Whatever. It'll get over here. there. Let me see it. Got my claw. State certified. Because once you get that tied over here, we can bring this broken branch and lean it against it. I'm gonna drop the cam. And that's what we do. There we go. Hold up. Is where you put it? That's that broke. So if you can tie it to that pole, it'll be perfect. I got this crazy fucking set up. I'm pulling branches up. See that branch over there? It's mine now. Alright, closing out. I'm gonna put some work in. Step fucking 20,000. So, to do some fishing. Wanted to show you guys how we fish. This is another method. We'll tie it to the plant stock wherever we need it, depending on the nug size. Through the cage, out the cage. I think I got a big one. Oh, oh. Oh. Holy! Oh, oh! Whoa, whoa! Ah, whoa! Oh, I got it! Nice! Oh. She's a catfish. She's going to be bad. So we got two hours of green taping in this morning. Everything's looking good. Did a lot of cutting on the cage. Look at this thing started spreading and pretty much filled out the front of the cage now. Grand fire is looking great. Nella didn't really trip on the rain. A couple ties up. It's good. Loco got a little sideways. Not quite as perfect as it was yesterday before the rain. But nothing broke. Boom. Jesus didn't even trip. A couple branches leaned, but tie it up in a second. Oh, there's one down there I just found. Chunky. The booth got hit hard, but it's fixed. We just gotta do some straightening in the, the booth itself. One branch did break on this, but it's still alive. It's got a big old strip of skin to keep it going. This thing's not really buttoned too much, so it didn't even trip at all. And since we caged this one the last time, didn't really have too much problems at all. There's for sure this little side that wasn't all the way up that high. But it's not on smashed anything and it's gonna do good. Cut the cage over here. So after it rains and as our plants start to bloom this hard, there's another technique we do. We don't like to pull leaves off our plants. They'll die naturally 
Only if a plant is outrageously packed will we do it. This year we don't have anything that really needs it. Also, the way we grow these bushes, it hollows out the inside from lack of sun. But, wanted to show you. You wanna hold the camera down? Yeah. Shake these branches and show them how much leaves fall out with a plant like this. That's kind of funny because of the slight bloom it did in the beginning. But it's also so far in bloom that she's dying. Make it rain. It's snowing leaves. So it just naturally, they'll come off by themselves. Especially after a rain like this, loosens them all up. There's certain spots that you want to reach in there. You can see that big old middle chunk. Ah, oh, you're showering me. Sorry. Jesus. Yeah, that middle chunk is going to have to be manually done. But, a lot of leaves fall off just from the cage shake. Snow and saves a shitload of time. And it's better for the plant. Anyways. Okay. Oh, Clean. All right. Today is September 16th. And our microphone stand is officially 14.5, 14.6-ish. Hard to see the tip in there. Tallest plant we've ever grown. We thought we grew a 12 foot plant before, but I don't even know if we have. Once it gets this tall, it's hard to tell what a foot difference is. So close to the top. Come on, Ganja Gods, get us to the top. So we are here looking at the locomotion that we kept for our pheno hunt this year. And oh my god, it smells so ridiculous. Getting some nice up close shots of her. I know people want to see more nug shots. This is what we got September 16th. This is out of control early. Just looked at it with the extreme close ups and the crystals are milky. We're gonna let it go a couple more days and pick this little mini plant. But wow, super stoked. TGA, Heroes of the Farm. Well, what's up everybody? Back out in the garden in part four flower mode. It's uh, September 24th. September 24th. And we are caterpillar hunting. Yep, gonna we're checking all these buds for caterpillars because we noticed a couple of them got hit. As this bud, they just murdered the whole intersection. And most of the time they just shit all over inside there. So once there's poop in there, it's gonna mold. So you just gotta cut all that out. And they hit a couple different spots on us, bastards. We found like five or six. Yeah, like five or six caterpillars. So, you can do as much as you can do for spray and whatever the fuck else, but manual hunting is what's needed. Yep, no you matter- have to manually take them out. No matter what, it seems like they always happen to get in here and- And that structure of that bud is soft enough for them to tear apart. Yeah, these buds aren't super dense. So once they get hit, man, it's like they just poof away. So we're just out here, we're gonna check every top, we're gonna look around at everything. Yep. If you spot any dead leaf, that's what you need to start examining. Yeah, just look for that dead leaf, or dead nug on this water that nug's gonna be dead. And it'll surprise you. And I know a lot of you have got a lot of fucked off crops from this. This is the main question we get right now, is yep. what do you do with caterpillars? And we, Manuals. We, we picked 500 something caterpillars off one year. Counted them, kept track of them for two, three weeks. That's all we did. Just caterpillar hunt. Yeah, we've been hit harder than a lot of people have ever been hit before, so we know the struggle. And we try to prevent it as much as possible, but it's fucking nature. It's outdoors, so. Yep. You can't kill everything. It's not organic. You gotta do it yourself with your fingers. All the way organic. No poison. 
Welcome to the final chapter of How to Grow Mendo Dope Part 4. This will be the last nutrients these plants ever get today. I'd say this Hell's OG Corkle that we are looking at has roughly three weeks three weeks to full maturity the booth has roughly two and a half weeks locomotion three weeks oldie I'm gonna pick him two weeks from today I got a good 60 years left 60 years Jesus OG I'm gonna say two weeks we're just guesstimating here yeah it's probably a good two weeks I mean it's it's going pretty fast and if you could feel these buds they're yeah, that's dense it's cushed to the full very very dense I mean just look at that right there and smell through the camera now as you smell you'll understand the cushness Same with and the Hell's the, OG, is quite dense also. Oh yeah. And then the Nella, two, three weeks. Cheese Quake, three weeks. Grand Fire, three weeks. So, we're gonna do the last the nukes. Mic stands, <coughs> stands five, uh, five weeks, five weeks out. <laughs> that one's just gonna free flow organically. Whatever happens, happens. So, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do for the last day of nuding. We are going to, as you can see, I mean, Yellow is starting to come out everywhere. They're already starting to get less newts. <coughs> Loco needs more. We're going to pick and choose what we give this last section. We want you all to enjoy this last chapter. This last, the ending of part four. We were trying to make part four be the very end, but there's a lot more stuff to tell everyone. So uh, Due to high demand and popular demand, whatever it's called. it's yes, Everyone is just feeling to see it, so we're ready to put this part four out of this flower mode. and. Now the part five is going to be straight uh, finishing up, curing, harvesting. Yeah. <clears throat> it's going to be tight to show you the final, final stages of how to grow mental dope from seed. So, hope you liked this one right here that uh, you've been watching since this is the final one. Yep. Part four. Um, thanks for everyone for tuning in and subscribing. Uh, keeps. Did you want to say something else? Um, well. I hope everyone's plants are doing good, and next year follow these steps and uh, maybe your plants could be as big as these ones and maybe even bigger. Hey, you never know. You can be a planter of the trees too. All right, so some of the last stuff we're gonna use right here on the plants that gotta go a little bit. We have a little bit left of this bag to use. So, Cool. Mike Stan for sure gets some. It's got a long time to go. A lot of thickening up to do. I think we should give it to the Hell's Quirk, the Loco, the Cheese Quake, and the Grand Fire. Ooh, look at that Grand Fire. Perfect plant. All right, so soluble seaweed bloom extractions, and then we are also going to give them. Oh, I got to get the brown sugar. The last virtues bloom to just boost up that root web that we have for one last stretch. And a little bit of this stuff. Yeah, add a little bit of this for fun. A big swell and the pure dark brown last time we did light brown this watering we're gonna do dark and we'll finish that stuff off as we flush we gave molasses for the beginning sugars we end it with brown sugar once they're full and chunky just just boost them spray them and spice them up a bit
so before we ended things off, we wanted to show you the mic stand is at 14 feet, 6 inches tall. Oh my lord. And when they get this tall, it's kind of hard to tell feet, huh? Some people say, oh, my feet's this tall, and we've said we've had a 12-foot plant, but shit, no, we haven't. We haven't had nothing like this before. Yeah, this shit's... Once you really measure it, it's like, god damn, it's only that tall, but Jesus, that's so damn tall. Tallest plant we ever grew in our life. Fucking chunky. 14 to 6. It's about to finish blooming. Let me show them how the flowers look up here. Yeah, good. Jesus. Show the flowers. Oh. <laughs> Frosty. And the cool thing about this, it's got those sub cool traits. Frosty stems. You can smoke the stem. You can make hash out of it. Just the stem. Crystals all on the stems. Hash stem. The top cola. Trying to get to the top, but you can't even get level with the camera. But that's the tippy. Hopefully, no caterpillars get it. Go back down here. Yeah. So yeah, we also put in these extra rebar supports. We hammered these down angled them into the cage, tightening them up, pulling them backwards because this whole thing's starting to fucking lean a little bit. And the, all the buds are in the front where that morning sun is. This is what you can do, how to grow Mendo Dope. This is just another fun fucking experiment. Just a project. One last thing that Daniel saw yesterday that happens that you have to be careful for is this. Ah, holy fuck. There's like a fucking, so much of the plant is on those two branches right there. It's incredible. When you do that main topping on that big branch, once they get that big, they, they kind of want to just pop open. So it's always nice to green tape them. Yeah, but so we now. we forgot kind of. We need green tape because we ran out again because this is how much green tape we go through. There's about 10 fucking rolls at least. So let me try to get one last good angle on this. So thank God we have a cage because it would have been over for this plant if it wasn't caged. That's a vicious one all the way down to the branches. But, it is held sturdy. Can't tell from the top. Thank God it's caged good. Plants are fucking strong. Strong as fuck. Jesus. Solid. Bone welded at the top. But not even close to how much bud is on the top of this plant. A lot of weight. So, how to grow metal dope. Be careful, tie shit up, do a lot of work. Part four, we hit them with all kinds of stuff besides the natural stuff that's in the dirt. Besides our root web, we like to give them little bumps. Everything's starting to slowly fade out. Yellow leaves are coming more and more. We got no rain for a week and a half, supposedly, but that we'll can change at any time. Yep. Part four is over. Everything's flushing. Let's go to part five and uh, finish these bad girls up. Finish them up, take them down, hang them correctly, deleaf them. Boom, blocker. What's the date? September 29th. September 29th. Just about to hit October. Peace. 
Mando Dope Live in the garden Cause you know it's bigger than just the music It's a cannabis culture and we gotta represent it to the fullest We fighting for the freedom of the patients we don't smoke it if it's brown, we gon' turn that shit down. We smoking fire. We smoking. Need a parents to the fuel. Decay of the Skittles. Break down the blunt, lay it down in the middle. I'ma need a pillow. When it got a strip, had to make this shit official.